Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to allow students to export and download content from your Canvas course. Please keep in mind, this allows content to be downloaded that is part of the course, such as PDFs or other resources. It will not allow students to download YouTube videos, external links to websites. Uh, they would be able to work on the work offline, but they would have to come back to a Wi-Fi enabled hotspot to submit the work. So please be aware of those limitations, but that said, it does provide students with a way to download resources from your course, provided again, they are not things such as YouTube videos or external links, that type of resource cannot be downloaded and shared offline. In your Canvas course, you will need to navigate first to settings, and then in settings, you want to select the course details tab. There, you will need to select allow course content to be download and downloaded and viewed offline. You want that option to be selected, and then you will select Update Course Details. From there, once you go to your modules, you will see that students now have the ability to export course content. So as I navigate into Student View, this is what the student will do. So in Student View, the student would navigate to modules. They would then select Export Course Content, and they will go through the process, the computer will go through the process rather of downloading the material. The students will need to wait. What this does as it's generating, it downloads a zip file. So students will have to know how to open that zip file and how to utilize this. For our students in 3 through 12 who have a Windows laptop, this should be a fairly easy process to guide them through. Obviously, those younger students who are using Canvas a little bit differently and on an iPad, this may or may not be something that you would want to guide them through. But again, this process may take a little time. Once the export has been created, it will generally go to the student's downloads folder unless they have specified somewhere else. For most students, it will go to the downloads folder. And so, or it will be prompted rather to save in the downloads folder. So then the student can save, and again, it should show up on the downloads bar right here, and it will be in the downloads folder for most students unless they have prompted that to go somewhere else. From there, it's simply having a matter of having the students open the file, and then they are able to navigate into the file and into the viewer and into the files, and you can see any resource that is a part of the course. Again, it is not a situation where they're going to have it look exactly like they do in their Canvas course, but it is a way to get material to the students. So you can see there that it downloaded a PDF um, and a GIF banner that I have. So I am able to get pictures and I am able to get documents to a student. Again, I could not use external links, but the students need to know where that is saved and they should be taken through the course, uh, through the process rather of locating the course materials by going to downloads and locating the correct file, opening that file, and knowing how to navigate into that particular resource. If you have any questions about this process, please let me know, but hopefully that will allow you to get some resources to your students who may not have internet access at home.